I said in the run up to this video that I spoke too soon about something. And I'm going to explain what that is right now. Okay. So, uh, up until the last couple of days, I have been saying, I haven't seen a lot of Notre Dame involved in this conference discussion stuff. People saying, where's Notre Dame in the big 10? No, 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 no. What's Notre Dame going to do? I haven't seen a lot of that. And I was saying, that's a good sign for Notre Dame confident that their TV deal is going to be good and they don't need that. And they're not even exploring it and whatever. And I was just genuinely surprised Notre Dame wasn't coming up more. Well, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Because now, out of nowhere, everybody's running their mouths about Notre Dame. Now, let me give you two sides of this. To be fair, Johnny Fairness here. On one side, you got Chip Kelly saying, maybe Notre Dame has it right being independent in football and then having a league, uh, a conference affiliation for all of the other sports and the non-revenue generating sports and all that to have all that set up. Chip Kelly's saying maybe Notre Dame has it figured out and maybe we should just do this where the football, big football teams are like independent and we all share a TV money pool for more equity. And then you have uh, all the other sports, fencing, on guard, whatever else you're doing. Then you have those in a conference and do it that way. And do it that way. And so you got Chip Kelly going, maybe Notre Dame's figured it out. Because the football part of this is so different than every other sport. And the revenue's different. And it, it is the thing that drives those big decisions that trickle down and affect everything else. And the idea is like, yeah, maybe Notre Dame has it figured out and everybody should do it this way. And then we all share the TV pool. So there's more equity in that. And all these conferences are ruined chasing a TV down. So you have that perception from Chip. That's a $5 from Pat. Thank you. Didn't mean to cause a Friday stroke. Happy to have that discussion in more depth. Have to drop. God bless and go. Yeah, I have to drop now too. After that rant, $5 holler, Pat. Love you. Thank you. Appreciate you very much. Okay. So you have Chip Kelly bringing up that maybe Notre Dame has it figured out. All right. Then you got a bunch of college football media people that have never covered Notre Dame. I've never seen them cover Notre Dame before. They're in, in SEC country, whatever. They never talk about Notre Dame. And then they got anti-Notre Dame hot takes. I got all these people that I never hear talk about Notre Dame that cover these conferences. Now they're all running their mouths. Oh, why does Notre Dame get to be independent and all that? It's all bugging me. People are getting desperate for summer clicks. We just need damn football games. But I got all these media people from everywhere. Everybody should just ban Notre Dame, not play them anymore, make them join the conference. Here we are over there minding our own business. And everybody's worried about us. I don't know why we haven't changed nothing. Worry about all the other people pulling the rug out on their own conference members for more money. So you got the media people riding Notre Dame and these stupid people, whatever. Then there's this from Dan Mullen. Dan Mullen's out here saying, hold Notre Dame responsible for all these conference problems. He says that conferences should force Notre Dame to join a conference and say you're not getting access to the playoff if you're not in a conference. Make them, he's saying, Mullen's saying, make them join to either strengthen the ACC or save the Pac-12. Somehow he's saying it's Notre Dame's fault. Notre Dame's fault. Number one, the COVID year. Notre Dame's a big part of what made football happen at all that year. Notre Dame haters or not, if you watched your team, Notre Dame helped that happen. Don't forget it. Number two, Mullen's theory is flawed, and here's why. Notre Dame is the least to blame for all these issues because they are the most consistent group in the mix. Everybody knows who Notre Dame is. Everybody knows what Notre Dame is. There's no threat of Notre Dame leaving to backstab somebody in football and ditch a conference for more money. 
and it screws everybody else and all that. Will you pull a surprise move and leave like Texas and Oklahoma did, leaving everybody else screwed, holding an empty bag? Notre Dame's the only ones playing it straight. You know where we stand because it's exactly where we stood and nothing's changing. Notre Dame's the ones you can rely upon because you know right where we fall. So to me, Notre Dame should be revered in this matter because you may not like their position, but at least it's a consistent one. One that you could bake into the equation and know what you're dealing with. Everybody else are the ones that are leaving for bit quicker money and leaving their conference to die. So you want to put this moral guilt trip on Notre Dame. It's the other way around. We're the only ones being true to our position. And everybody else is doing something else to better their money and screw everybody else who they used to be their partners in their conference. So Notre Dame's the only ones being consistent here. Leave us out of this. Blame the conference members. Blame the people negotiating these bad TV deals. Blame these teams that are leaving and leaving their conference higher drive for more money. Leave us out of this. We're the only ones who pick a lane and stay in it. If anything, Notre Dame should help everybody else figure it all out because at least we're consistent. Number three, why wouldn't Notre Dame want a team like Stanford to land in a power five? We're getting a bunch of heat on why is Notre Dame pushing for Stanford to get accepted into the ACC? Why does Notre Dame care about that, but they don't want to join or whatever? Why wouldn't Notre Dame want a high academic institution we play every year to be in a power five instead of have to drop down? It's completely logical. You people are stupid asking, I don't understand. Why is Notre Dame pushing for Stanford in the ACC? What do you mean? Would you rather a team we play every year drop down to the minor leagues or be in a power five? It makes perfect sense that Notre Dame would push for them to be in the ACC for financial and athletic reasons. That makes perfect sense. So I don't get it. But it's just funny to me. All these people trading seats, trading places, screwing and backstabbing their own conference affiliate members. Okay? Screwing their own people. And these people have the audacity to blame Notre Dame for all these problems when we're the only ones who have picked a path and held set steadfast. It's illogical. It's illogical. All right? Um... Uh, all right, let's go to the calls. I need a little break. I'm sorry. I need a break. I think you guys, this, the season's upon us and it's getting to me. I want some answers. All these questions we have, I want damn answers. We're going to get them in a couple Saturdays. I want it. Give it to me. I don't know what's happening today. I am worked up. All right, 480, you've waited forever. It's your time, 480. I'm going to let you go. My mistake. 